and welcome to session three of Revelation Online. So today we're going to be making an Easter bunny jar and a chick. So firstly we're going to start with our Easter bunny jar. So for this you're going to need some paint, a pipe cleaner, some cotton wool and of course a glass jar. And on the practical side of things we're going to use our scissors, some sellotape, um, a staple if you have one and some glue. <laughs> so first thing we need to do, take our glass jar and we need to paint it all white or a colour of your choice for your bunny. So the best paint that you can use for this is acrylic paint just because it's thicker. Um, but if you don't have that ready mix does work, you just have to give it a couple of coats. But if you haven't actually got any paint, you can use a, just a sheet of white paper, fold it around your jar find where the paper meets, sellotape it and then you can cut it off around the top to make it nice and neat. So while our jar is drying we can make a start on our details so we're going to start with the ears first. So to do that we need some card or some paper to draw onto and we need two shapes that look similar to this. So once you've drawn your shapes and cut them out, you need to bring them to life. We've used some pink in the middle of ours to give them some light, little lifey pinky bunny ears. <laughs> so once you've done that, we then need to stick the ears on. So easiest way to do that is to take your ears, place them pink side down flat on the table like this. Position them next to each other like that. Then what you need to do is cut off a strip of sellotape. So Mandy's just done that for me. Now, with your sellotape, you need to position it so it is slightly over the ears, but mostly hanging off. So pop that on. That's it, just like so. Stick, stick, stick. And we just hold that up for you to see. So, like that. The next part we want to do is stick them onto our jar. So, you take your ears. And then what you need to do is stick as firmly as you can the sellotape all the way around the inside of your jar. You need to press and press, make sure that they can stand up. So there you have your ears. So once they are firmly stuck, we can then go on to making our nose. This is where your pipe cleaner is going to come in handy. Um, but if you don't have one, you can make it out of paper or paint it straight on. So if you are using the pipe cleaner, you need to cut it into six parts as equally as you can. So once you've done that and you've got your parts, what we need to do is twist them together. So I'm going to just show you what to do here. So you take them together like that and twist them so they are together like that and you add all of them. So the idea is that you've got three on each side so it forms a bit of a spider shape like that and that is going to make our whiskers and nose. So then you need to snip off a little piece of sellotape and then you fold it into itself. You can use your finger to keep in the middle but you fold it in and stick it on and then it makes it Double-sided. So you then take your sellotape, squish that onto your jar first, then you take your nose and give it a good squish down and because the sellotape is double-sided it will stick like this. So then grab your pins, we've given our bunny a nice pink nose, add your eyes and a big smiley mouth. And if you want to, we've used some cotton wool to just stick on the back to make a nice fluffy bunny towel. <laughs> so that's him done. So now what you can do is add your pens, pencils inside and keep him as a little container. Or if you have managed to get some sweets or chocolates, fill him up and put him out this Easter weekend. <laughs> and now it's time for our Easter chick. <laughs> so for this, what you can use is an old yoghurt pot. Um, or a paper cup, or if you don't have either of those, um, if you go back to session two, we taught you how to do the cone trick out of a piece of cardboard, and um, so you can use that. So the first thing that we're going to make is the Easter chick's head. So the easiest way to do this is to cut from your paper or card a circle and then add three little triangles. Once you've done that shape, cut it out and then you can put some eyes on it and a little beak. 
<laughs> so once you've added your detail it is then time to stick it on to an old straw old pen or whatever you can get your hands on so the idea with this is to make sure that it is quite long and um, because we are going to poke this through the top when the time is right but for now just pop into one side the next thing we'll need is to make some wings so to do this i've cut out a shape that's quite similar on both sides once you've cut your shape out and you've made the wings you can then grab what pot you're using and you can stick it on you can put your sellotape if you're using sellotape along there and if not you need to take your stapler pop it as higher up to the top of the wings as you can and give it a clip and um, just for safety reasons, I do like to put a little bit of sellotape inside over the sharp bit where the staples is, just in case little fingers catch them. So once that part is done, it is then time to make a hole in the top of your paper cup or yogurt pot. So for this, an adult must do this part, please. So you take your scissors, stab it through the top nice and carefully and um, especially if you are using a yogurt pot, please take care because they are a lot tougher than the paper cups. Once you have made your hole, take your chick head and poke it straight through the top like that so that you have it. And now it's the fun part. It's time to get creative. So there we have our one. We've used some feathers. We've added some stick-ons, but you can paint it. You can use whatever you like to use for your creation. <laughs> so that is us finished for today thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed it please react below um, and give us a share so have a great easter and if you can join us next week where we'll be making more things more crafty things from things around the house <laughs> so remember to stay safe stay indoors and thank you again to all of our key workers bye, bye. <laughs>